Hey guys! Do you want to learn how to make a cute French poodle and Cricut craft room without a cartridge? Keep watching this video and I will show you how. You may notice that I changed the color of every layer. This is because I want to get an idea of what my poodle will look like before I cut him out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this shape and rotate it. This will be the poodle's head. Next, I'm going to take this square for the neck. Remember to weld these two together. Next, I'm going to take this shape for the poodle's body. I'm going to rotate it and shape it to the size I like the best, and then put it on the neck. So the next part is super simple. I'm going to take these parentheses, and I am going to size them down and use them for the legs and for the tail. Finally, I'm going to add in the fluff part. This can be done in two ways. You can do it the simple way by either using the cloud or the flower shape rotating it and shaping it to what you like and then putting it on the poodle. Or you can take a circle or any shape you prefer and add in the fluff by adding the flower or the cloud shape to the actual circle. This way you can customize it exactly the way you want, but it takes a much longer time. Since copying and pasting and adding these shapes in one by one can be very time consuming, I'm pretty happy with using the shapes I have because I can squish them down and make them fatter and I'm always pretty happy with the end result. So I just take these two shapes and add them near the front and the back of the poodle to make it look extra fluffy. And then I am going to add on a cloud shape for the fluff on the tail. Now I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to copy and paste the entire poodle into the new layer. You won't use the entire dog though, you'll just use the fluff parts. You'll click and drag them to your poodle. This will ensure that the fluff layers on top of the poodle when you cut it out and paste it together. You can customize the body fluff any way you want in either craft room or after you cut it out. Once you've finished with the fluff, you don't need the rest of the poodle. So feel free to remove it or delete it from your project as you won't need that part at all. So now I'm going to make the top of the poodle's head. For this I'm going to create my yoon using several of the same flowers. I forgot to weld here so make sure that you do weld. I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm going to use this last little cloud around for his ear. And then I'm going to take a little circle and put it on his nose. And then I'm going to make a third layer for his eyes. Here you can see me using a fourth layer and making putting a little parentheses. This is going to be for his ear. You can either cut this on the first layer that you used off of the poodle or on the fourth layer. Just make sure that you don't cut out a little shape where his ear would be and that you just paste it on. So that's our poodle. Do you like him? I hope so. All of these shapes were used in Cricut font and basic shapes, which comes free with a free download of Cricut Craft Room. No cartridge is needed. Do you like this one? I hope so. Please like and subscribe and comment below to tell me what animals you would like to see. Thank you for watching. Happy crafting.